what's up guys, my name's Joe here, and I'm back with episode 19 of my Hidden Gems and FM15 series. In this episode, we'll be looking at Jesus Vallejo, 17-year-old Spanish centre-back who plays for Zaragoza in the Liga BVVA. Now, I've been umming and ahhing whether to do this, as I'm not quite sure whether he counts as a hidden gem. He is more of a one-dicked kind of player. And I was thinking that maybe it's not a hidden gem because people have already heard of him. But then I thought that most people looking for one kid centre backs are just buying Belanta without even considering it. And whilst I'm not saying you shouldn't buy Belanta, it's nice to have a bit of variation. And Vallejo is one of a player one of the players I've bought the most this year, due to something that I'll go into a bit later. But first I'll just go into, you know, other reasons why he's a hidden gem. Now, at 17, he's already got great stats. If you look here, strength's at 9, but that, that'll improve with age. But he's just so well-rounded for a 17-year-old. It's insane. You can play him as a centre-back. You can have him just behind as a sweeper. Or even, if he's fine as a CDM. If, if you want to play him as a CDM, we can show you he'd do a job as a defensive CDM. And he can cover at right-back. You could train him up. I'm sure he'd do decent at right-back as well. Now, if you look over at his report, he is um, a good player for championship sides when you first get him. But that potential, he really does have the potential to to be a leading Premier League centre-back, I'm sure. It says here that it, it's an advantage, it's, it's a good thing, a pro, that you can get him between 3 and 4.7 million. But if you actually looked to buy him, you would see that it's much better than that. He has a release clause of 1.1 million, which is just insane, and that that is the reason I think he's a hidden gem, because I'm not sure if people are aware of that release clause, but you can just activate that at the very start of the game, prime team, and I'm sure he can really, really just develop over the years and turn into one of your quality, one of your main players in your team. He's extremely interested in joining clubs, he'd, he'd probably join your club in the top division of, of any league. He is a professional individual, which is always good. You don't want a bad boy player disrupting your team. A highly professional group of players, as I said there. Um, concentrates, and he's a good candidate for marking. Always a good thing for a centre-back. It says here that it'll be around a 1,000 of wages. I think he's only on about 200 quid at the start. And he'd probably ask for a bit less if he were a team with lower wages than, um, than Arsenal. Matches new signing philosophy, which be good if you want to sign young players. If they're bored once you sign young players, he matches that as he's 17. He can already kind of talk, you know, English, which is always handy. As I said, he's good at marking and he can play in a couple of positions. As I said, he's versatile. If you just look at how many pros he has, he's a wonder kid. But even more than that, he is a hidden gem. Thanks for watching.